So we've been asked to find the constants a and b such that our limit as x approaches 0 will be 2. And as I try to plug in 0, I get 0 minus 0 minus 0 all over 0. Well, this is L'Hopital's rule. And so that's the only way we could possibly be 2, is that we have to use L'Hopital's rule to get there. So I'm going to take the derivative. Derivative of sine of 2x is 2 cosine of 2x. The derivative of negative bx is negative b. And then we've got minus 4ax all over 2x. Well, notice if I evaluate the limit as x approaches 0, this is going to be 0. So this must be 0 in order to ultimately get an answer of 2. So I won't write 0 over 0. I'll just show each one going to 0. So that means when I plug a 0 in here, then cosine of 0 is 1, so I have 2, minus b. And when I plug a 0 in here, this term drops out. So 2 minus b must equal 0, because I know this numerator has to be 0 if this denominator is 0. That means b is equal to 2, so I'm halfway there. <coughs> But it also shows me I have to do L'Hopital's rule again. So I will. The derivative of 2 cosine of 2x is negative 4 sine of 2x. The derivative of b is now 0 because it's just a constant. And the derivative of negative 4ax is negative 4a. And the derivative of 2x is 2. And this must finally equal 2. Well, I'm going to cross multiply here to get this out of the denominator. So we have negative 4 sine of 2x minus 4a must equal 4. Because I'm essentially multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 4, by 2, excuse me. I'm still finding a limit as x approaches 0. When I do, this first term becomes 0, minus 4a equals 4, dividing by negative 4, a equals negative 1. So I previously found my b to equal 2, my a to equal negative 1. We wanted the sum, or the addition of these two, so 2 minus 1 is 1.